All right, so what's up, guys? Uh, Ryan here, Channel Patrol. The video you are about to watch. Let me let me just let me just throw this out there. All right, I got I got like seven figures in one day, and uh, I showed you that on the Thor video. I got like a I got more. Anyways, I got like seven figures. I unboxed that Thor figure from Endgame. Didn't like it. I mean, like straight up. Just um, sorry for that. Uh, just straight up hated posing. I didn't even like recording the video, honestly. Didn't even like recording the video, but I made it and I've got to repose it. I've got, I've got him up there. He's doing his thing. Okay. Today, today, actually t yesterday and today, I spent two days on this. And, um, today we're going to look at the Mysterio figure from Spider-Man Far From Home. To say this is one of my fa I'm going to go spoil it for you. To say this is one of my favorite figures of 2021 is an understatement. It's, it's. Let me just spoil it for you. I got mine from Pop Collectibles because I feel like waiting on other people, those who should not be named. Uh, so I got I got mine from Pop Collectibles. Uh, you can they got them in stock now. You can check them out. Link down below. Um, this is the discount code if you want to save some money. Um, let me just uh, let me just say, I like this figure so much. I bought a second one. I bought a second one. It's that good. So uh, we're gonna get the unboxing. When you get to the posing section at the end of the video, unbelievable, loved it. I'm not done posing it. I'm, I think I showed you like three or four poses. I've got so many more. In fact, we're doing a pose off with myself, one six scale man and Justin from Justice Collection. We're gonna do a pose off uh, in the next week or so live stream. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already done that. And uh, I need you to blow up the comment section on this. I'm telling you, I know a lot of people like were like, you know, uh, this is not a figure I need. It's what, uh, if you're a Marvel Spider-Man collector, we don't get that many villains. And this is a good one. So enough of me ranting. Let's get through the unboxing. Let's roll. All right, guys, we got the box right here from Mysterio, and I gotta say, it's a it's a beautiful box. It's actually pretty freaking good looking. We've got this nice, like, uh, holographic action going on right here with Mysterio in the background. We've got Spider-Man Far From Home. We got Mysterio, and this like magenta, you know, gradient down to this green and nice blues. It just looks. It's a good looking box. I'm actually, I'm actually like it. Mysterio on the side for those that are wondering. Mysterio on that side. Mysterio on that side, and Spider-Man. Far from home on that side. I think it's a pretty nice little box. It is a slipcover design, just like we saw with some other figures. But on the back, on the back of this, this is like the holographic clear part, and there's Mysterio on the other side. So it's actually a pretty nice little double air box. If you wanted to display yours like this with the figure in front of it, I think it would look pretty good. So uh, yeah, kind of dig that. It looks pretty good. We got our, we've got some drones going on here. We've got this nice little digital effect going on. We got some light up features, which unfortunately are not included on the actual figure, but uh, that's okay. We've got our little all seeing eye going down here and uh, we saw that. But on the other side, we got a little spider logo. And on this side, it's pretty straightforward. And uh, it's a nice little box. It's got a little window design. If the figure was actually in there, you'd see that. But on this side, we've got a Spidey fighting Mysterio. That would have been a cool little, I don't know. I, they, I feel like that would have been a cool little, um, like a poster board kind of deal. Like if you could actually see both sides, like it unfold, unfolded like three ways, that'd be kind of nice, but it doesn't. So let's move on to what's actually in the box. That being said, I have what may be, before you even see it, what may be the best presentation of a figure we've seen in 2021 right here. This very well may be. I'm, here, let's just look, look. The packaging and the colors and everything when you get this thing right out of the box is unbelievable. This magenta, pinkish, purplish fuchsia, whatever the hell color you want to call this, with the green with the globe, which is unbelievable, and the gold, everything 
it, it's it's gorgeous. It, this is and I don't know. It's just I'm I'm admiring the packaging because it's so well done. They displayed it well. Uh, there's lots of plastic. So there's plastic on the boots, plastic on the portrait, plastic on these little cloud effects deal. I mean, it's plastic everywhere. And three batteries that you got to install into the globe, which I have already done. So we'll save us some time on that. But let's go ahead and take a look at what all you get. It's actually quite a lot. So you get these uh, effects right here. These are little effect pieces. These are very nicely done. I really dig this. You actually get, I'm going to get two of them. So that's nice. And on the back, it's we've seen this like with Dr. Strange with this little grip section here. Uh, and there's actually specific hands that grip this. So when we get to that part, we'll definitely check that out. These are nice. They're like a pearlescent effect to the uh, application of this thing. So very nicely done. I think these will actually display well, which generally I don't display effect pieces. But I, th I, I might use these. So we'll see about that. We've got that. We've got these pieces, which are absolutely must have their display pieces. These are fantastic. You're going to get two. Get a smaller one. Nice little cloudy i mean opaque you know appearance of these things very very cool uh and they get a little more opaque on the bottom and then they kind of get a little more translucent at the top as you can see right there these are cool very flat paint there's almost no gloss whatsoever on these as you can probably tell from the way the light's bouncing off of it uh nicely weighted i mean these these actually i'm i'm actually those are effect pieces we might actually use in this video so uh, let's go ahead and get into that. Uh, let's go to, let's go to the portrait. Everybody wants to see the portrait. Let's take a look at this. This portrait, it, it looks, it looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm, you know, it is here. Let's just, let's go, let's go here. Look, this looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. I, I've seen some people complaining and I don't know why anybody would complain because honestly, I would be perfectly fine if they didn't include it at all. As amazing as that globe is, this is just an extra bonus for me. And I think they nailed it. I think the likelihood or the likeness is honestly spot on. When I first saw it, I thought, eh, maybe the head section, like the top of the section is too big. But in person, I think it's scaled right. I think the proportions are good. And I think anybody that actually gets this in hand versus just bitching about photos, uh, I think you'll be happy with this uh, portrait. So, um, yeah, I, I dig it. I think it did a really good job on that. So good, good luck to Sarah. We may use it on the uh, on the display at some point. I'm sure we will. Uh, the figure itself. Let's go ahead and get him out here. We get some hands, which we'll get to in just a second. But guys, we got to take a look at this globe. This is unbelievable. This globe. Yes, there is a seam. Yes, you can see it. No, I don't give a crap. It is awesome. This is exactly. This is exactly what I wanted when I was hoping I was going to get when I ordered this Mysterio figure. Actually, I ordered it from Sachu way back when. Uh, but I actually got this one from Pop Collectibles, as I talked about earlier. Uh, that way, I don't have to wait on them. But this right here, this is what I wanted. This is this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a must-have villain Spider-Verse Marvel collector. It, it is unbelievably... This is going to absolute pop on the, show, on, the, on the shelf in the detail or wherever you got this displayed. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the paint applications. I mean, just, I don't know, just admire it for a section or, or a second. And uh, you can see what I'm talking about. The colors, the saturation in this cape, the saturation in the, the green, which is more that uh, dark hunt, hunter got a green. Um, and then the gold and then the magenta popping off the gold. Dude, come on. This is unbelievable. The nice... A gradient of the purple to the blue to the white and the effect even not even lit up but the effect on the globe is is a 10 out of 10 for me it is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh we will turn on the lights in, in just a second but uh i want to just admire this the textures the textures on this suit i mean look at this all this stuff the little grid patterns he's got with gold there this black bar going here and all these little squares rectangles going down as they get larger to smaller and then that fades into this gold which then fades into his gauntlets so much detail this is on freaking believable now these uh are like a vinylish piece there these are uh soft they're pliable you can kind of see that right there but that detail in there that folds right into the gloves with the oh man you can tell i'm excited guys i'm way more excited about this than i was for in-game floor which we unboxed yesterday um this is absolutely unbelievable absolutely beautiful 
I wish, I mean, I saw somebody already customized this and like made little light up functions with LEDs. That was unbelievable on Instagram. Wish I had that kind of skill. I do not. Um, but check this out. So this uh, cape is held on by magnets. So there's magnets right here. You can actually pop those off if you want. Um, and we'll do that in just a little bit. So I'll mess with that. But this is, uh, look at this cape. Holy cow. This is gorgeous. The design, even on the other side where you got this little uh, eye uh, symbol, Mysterio symbol going on here, the chevrons, everything about this is unfreaking real. Um, now it comes out of the box pretty, pretty well folded up. Like it comes pretty much flattened like this. So we'll have to play around with this. Uh, I'm not feeling any particular wires or anything in there. I don't think we got any of that going on. There is a wire on the bottom, but there's no wire. And I can tell along like the side, like you would have it flying, but there is a wire definitely on the bottom of this thing, but there's the backside of this. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, Whew, man. I'm enjoying it. So I flip this cape up. You see the back, Got a nice little gold grid pattern. Got that magenta going on again with the green. And then flip this back over here, the boots, Whew, man, look at the color difference. That like brassy, high polished brass versus the weathering on the boots. And I got some styrofoam pieces I need to get out of here. Um, these, come on. And a split cut boot. I was not expecting that. I'm happy to see it though for posing purposes. For those interested, here's your tread. Uh, people like that kind of stuff. But this is, um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Whew, man. All right. Well, while we got them here. Let's go ahead and look at some articulation. You can see there are seams along that side and along this side. So there's your seams for this figure. It, it feels like it's going to be rather posable, honestly. Uh, it's not ratcheted. So just a double bend right there. And you can see, obviously, that's if that's going to stick to itself or, or crease over time. That's going to be a thing um, if you are worried about you know those kind of things. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to have any issues with that. I'm not expecting a lot of ab crunch. In fact, I, if we got any, no, we're not. Yeah, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to. Yeah, there, there's zero there. Zero. Uh, it's all going to be underneath. So underneath the suit, you're going to have a under, uh, you're going to have a little bit of bend and a little bit of twist. So we'll have to play around with that, see how we can do with posing. The fact that it has double jointed elbows, I know I ripped on uh, in-game Thor pretty hard in the last video um, for that. I just single jointed elbows have no place in a 2021 figure, in my opinion. Uh, double jointed knees, that was super easy. Wow. Plenty of posability there. Plenty of posability there. This is awesome. All right, so I think what we need to do, let me go ahead and get some of these other accessories out of here. We've got uh, the two relaxed hands that are already on the figure. You're going to get two fisted hands if you want we can take a look at one of these real close uh let's see if we can get down here and you can see like the texture and detail on these things it is absolutely this is this is i'm happy with this one gotta be honest with you and you got these other hands now these are the hands for the effects so if i can show you how that works real quick we'll go ahead and pick one of these guys but literally um and I, I think there is a right and a left version of this thing, but on here you'll see little grids and you can actually put the fingers. They kind of just sit down just like this. It's not too terribly difficult to do. And they literally sit in just like that. And that feels way secure. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. It actually feels better than uh, Dr. Strange's um, deals uh, from the uh, last movie. This is very, very cool. So you get a right and a left version of that. You do, uh, you can change out the cape and or remove the cape completely. And you get these little uh, clips right here that you can uh, replace where the holes are for those pieces. So uh, I guess I want to show you this. Let me go ahead while we're here and uh, show you this light up function. I have already put the batteries in here to uh, save us a little bit of trouble. If you're wondering how that actually works, I will show you. All right, ready? So this globe, the way you lift this globe off is you actually pull up and then towards the front. It goes like that. So that's how it attaches. There is a lip there to cover up that gap. Uh, and then underneath, if you have seen my previous Kylo Ren uh, video unboxing, the new one, 
Uh, same style. This is one of those little LEDs that sit in the neck. There's a switch right here. It glows blue. And then you just take this. Fingerprints will be a thing. And uh, set it right back on. And then you've got a globe. So that's what it looks like with the lights on. I, I think it looks fantastic. This is what it looks like with the lights off. And it is freaking cool. You see that globe effect they've, or the uh, cloud effect they've got inside the globe? It is so cool. I mean, it, it's that's cool. I, this made this and then Stormbreaker are some of the best light up features I've seen in a figure in a very, very long time. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Boom. There we go. So there's your light up feature. Very easy to do. I guess I could show you the display stand since uh, it's also in the box. Let's go ahead and get this plastic junk off of here. If you guys are excited about this figure, please let me know. Um, if you want to pick one up and you don't feel like waiting, check out Pop Collectibles. They've got them in stock right now and you can uh, get one with discount code PATROL. Here's our display stand. Not a whole lot to say here, which is kind of why I left it in the box, but it says Mysterio and it's just your hexagonal, you know, whatever. It does come with a dynamic stand, so there's that. Um, but, you know, whatever. I, I don't really care about stands so much. So uh, I guess what we should do, let me go ahead and change out the portrait for you guys. There's that. I do not want to scratch the dome. Flip that switch. Pull this neck piece out. Oh, come on, you got it. Neck piece, this whole piece comes off. This is your LED light, you see it right there. And then we can put our portrait in there. And then, uh, there we go. We got some Mysterio action going on. And I like that it's a split neck. It's not a single neck. I like that you could actually get some range of motion out of this thing and look look where you want to look. So there you go. I think if you were going to display them with the head sculpt, I think you'd probably remove the cape, which when we get to the posing section, we'll have some fun with that. But there it is. What do you guys think? Yay or nay on the, uh, on the portrait? Or would you use the dome? Personally, it's dome all day. That, that's, you know, I want villains. For those curious to what this looks like with the Edis glasses, here it is. It looks okay. Uh, it, unfortunately, again, with the hair, he's, it doesn't actually have a cutout for the uh, glasses to go, so it's stretching them pretty good. So I probably won't leave them on there, but I know somebody would probably ask, hey, what's the look of the Edith glasses? There you go. I'm sure we'll use them in posing at some point, but now it's time to go have some fun and pose this thing. So let's roll. All right, guys, so let's talk about this first pose. I wanted to have some fun with this guy. And I wanted to use the portrait. So here we are with the Jake Gyllenhaal portrait, which I think looks pretty, pretty stinking good. A uh, little, uh, little moody lighting for you guys. Have some, have some fun with this because they're in a bar and bars don't typically have very good lighting. So there's that. Uh, I did break out the night monkey suit. We've got uh, old, uh, old Peter here handing over the Edith glasses, which I'm glad I actually found. They actually were on Grogu. Uh, but there we are. There's, uh, I guess we'll call this uh, scene number one. We all know what's going to happen very soon. There's going to be a little, a little bit of a disagreement, a little bit of disagreement, but just wanted to uh, showcase some of the details on this guy in a little different lighting. Sometimes that flat lighting gets a little, gets a little boring. It's a little boring, but you can see the details going on here. It looks absolutely fantastic. Honestly, uh, before you guys ask the stool he's sitting on came from the toys box, um, neon desk thing that I reviewed the other day. It came with that. I don't think I actually included it in the video, but it did come with the, um, that desk, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so one pose idea right here for you guys. I will snap a photo of this for Instagram or whatever, but I hope you guys like that one. Let's go ahead and hit up another one. All right, next up, guys, we decided to break out the display stand. So we got this nice Mysterio cloud effects, which I think look pretty cool. And you can just throw them wherever you want on the display. Uh, I did mess with the cape a little bit because it is wired, and uh, this is what this is what we came up with. So, what do you guys think about that? I think that's a pretty sick display. Can you imagine this on your shelf, popping with this gold and magenta and greens and just this is what I'm talking about. This thing is absolutely freaking gorgeous, and these are actually effects that I think make sense. And uh, I kind of kind of like them. So here they are up close and personal. Uh, they got that, like I said, that pearlescent finish on them, which I think is very nice when the light bounces off of it. 
And I don't mind the uh, I don't mind the portrait in this particular pose. I, th I think the globe definitely looks better, and I will uh, keep it in this pose and switch out the helmet for you guys. So uh, yeah, so there's that. There they go again. The the wire on the bottom of the cape is actually fairly nice. It's actually a pretty nice wire. I wanted to uh, get that front side of it kind of flowing in front, so I cheated a little bit and added some armature wire. Uh, coming out of the knee, it's not gonna focus. There's some armature wire coming out of the knee to push that cape forward. So I did cheat a little bit on that, but uh, a little, you know, posing trick. Uh, but that right there looks freaking gorgeous. Come on, don't even need Spider Man in this pose. This is awesome. Let me go ahead and throw the uh, throw the globe on there. All right, yeah. So we uh, <laughs> we stepped it up a notch. Before I show you this, uh, I do want to tell you one thing. The neck piece that goes around the human portrait, not the, the globe, uh, that's on the actual cape itself, you've got to make sure you pull that up. That way it, it doesn't get buried inside the cape or inside the neck. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so much cooler than Thor. I'm sorry, Thor, man. Love you, man, it, man from Ragnarok, but that endgame Thor. Whew. This is so much, so much cooler. Uh, I hope we get to see him again in the uh, in the MCU because this is just absolutely freaking glorious. Holy crap! Woo! I'm hyped over this thing, man. I didn't think I. I mean, I thought I'd like it. I thought I would because you know Spider-Man villains, but damn, this thing is absolutely just absolutely freaking gorgeous, man. Look at this globe. Look at that thing. That is. Just, if you can focus, that'd be awesome. Uh, that is just, oh, I hate to even, this is a fantastic pose. I hate to even change it, but I'm going to for you guys. So let's go. All right, you guys ready for this one? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll pan up here. Here we go. Probably remember the scene if you saw Spider-Man Far From Home and this thing is freaking cool. It took me a minute to actually figure this out, but, uh, and I don't know that I 100% figured it out, but I'm having fun with it. So uh, there's our Quentin Beck portrait. I did change out the cape again, remove that, uh, replace those plugs uh, right there that come with the figure. So it looks pretty awesome. Uh, I borrowed a, uh, a gun from Deadpool. So uh, no, he, he doesn't come with a gun. I borrowed that from Deadpool. And then we've got our, uh, our Peter Parker upgrade suit Spider-Man uh, deflecting the bullet, actually deflecting the shot uh, from the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. So interaction is key when you want to do something pretty awesome. And I, I wouldn't call this a 10 out of 10, but it is a fun pose. Speaking of fun poses, we're going to have a pose off between yours truly, Lael, the one six scale man, and Justin from Justin's collection featuring this figure right here and a spider figure of some kind very soon on the channel. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already done that. But I thought that was a pretty fun pose. I think it, it looks pretty good. But... I think we're going to do one more. All right. So I'm going to be hundred percent honest with you guys. If this doesn't fall over while recording it, I would be super, super surprised. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's have some fun with this one. Uh, I got to figure out how to photograph this thing. Honestly, video is one thing, but photographing is going to be another one. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out, but, um, hit the like button because, uh, it's a good one. Just going to throw this out there. So, We've got our uh, Mysterio cloud smoke stuff going on here. Obviously, we've got Mysterio's got his cape back on here, but he's in a bit of a pickle because Spidey is jumping off of a drone, punching him in the globe. How freaking sick is that? I got to be honest with you. I'm pretty proud of this one myself. I think this looks all kinds of awesome, dynamic, gorgeous. Look at Spidey landing the punch. Now, I've got him uh, punching him in the throat uh, simply because I'm not using a stand. Spidey is not supported by anything. He has two points of contact, one foot being right there and one fist right there. And that is the only points of contact he has. So I didn't have him punching a round object because he would slide off and it would fall and it would be crazy. But look at that. Guys, if you haven't hit the like button yet, what the hell are you waiting on? I will tell you this figure this Mysterio figure is up there with one of the best of 2021. It is absolutely gorgeous. The globe, 
the paint applications, the, I even like the effects and I usually don't like the effects. This uh, black light uh, effect they've got here, which I can turn on if I can hit the right button here. We'll try, I actually have a black light here. I'll show you this. Um, you can see like the black light in the, uh, in the cape. You see all that stuff going on there. It's kind of crazy, right? Um, but even without the black light stuff, don't even, that's just, <laughs> that is all kinds of crazy. Just, I'm just going to admire this for a minute because, uh, I'm having fun with it. Now you could obviously do this with the unmasked portrait, but the globe is just too stinking cool. And out of the figures I've reviewed in the past little bit, this is by far one of my favorites. Uh, it's just, it's just, oh, and there he goes. So <laughs> I think I shook the table, uh, but you get the idea. This guy is amazing. If you haven't already picked it up, guys, check out Pop Collectibles. They've got it in stock right now. Discount code patrol. Do not sleep on this figure. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to get a second one. It's, um, man, to have like the Sinister Six building up would be amazing. And then have one just uh, fighting different spider people. These little effects right here uh, with the stealth spider or homemade spider or the obviously upgraded suit spider. This right here. One of the best figures of 2021. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Check out the Facebook group in the description below. As always, click what you like. See you next time.